Hey, welcome to Brother B's Bees. This video is a, just a short video about how I quickly mix sugar water and then put it in the top of my hives to feed my colonies in the spring as they're building up. Here's what I do to quickly mix sugar water. I have a paint stirring attachment that I put on my cordless drill and I use a one-to-one -one ratio in the spring of sugar to water. I just put it in a five gallon bucket and I use that paint stirring attachment to mix it up. I've already mixed it up quite a bit, so I'm not going to stir it up too much more because I don't want it to splash out. But I find that's the easiest way to mix up quite a bit of sugar water. And then I can put a lid on it and then use it as I need down at the hives. So maybe that'll be useful to you. I wanted to mention something. When I am scooping with my scoop here, I usually hold the scoop in my right hand and I hold the lid for my feeder bottom side up underneath the scoop. The reason for that is that as I'm bringing sugar water over, I want anything that drips to land inside that cover because I can then turn it over and it'll go down into the feeder and will not go out inside the outer lid on top of the inner lid and it won't will not drip on the ground the reason for that is i'm trying to avoid attracting ants and so forth and on the outside of the hive i'm trying to avoid attracting uh, anything that would lead to robbing or just creating problems i just really don't want the the smell of the sugar anywhere but in my feeder now I use my wife's work wagon here to haul the five gallon bucket around to go from colony to colony. This colony has finished off its dry sugar and it is ready now to convert over to uh, sugar water. The challenge when I do that is to get the bees that are in there out i'll leave this off for a moment see if i can get them to move on and a lot of times i can if i'm kind of gentle i can just kind of get them flying and they'll either go back in or they'll end up going in through the front cover so we'll clear them out and put us some sugar water in here A lot of times once I put this lid on, they start thinking about trying to get inside because they realize they're outside. And a lot of times I can just kind of gently lift the side and they'll go in and stay in because they, they don't want to be trapped outside. Okay, we got them out, so I'm going to put in the sugar water. Okay, we've got the sugar water in. There we go, fish that one out. Put the lid on. We're moving through the spring and into the summer. My bees are going through the water more quickly. So I keep bird baths near the colonies. I've got another one up the hill. And so I keep this rain barrel down here. And my girls got it for me. And it allows me to have fresh water down by the colonies. 
Okay, we have successfully filled up the feeders in all of these colonies. I am in mid-March, it's actually the 17th of March. I'll probably feed them a couple of more weeks. I'm just trying to give them some extra energy to do all the work they need to do in the spring. And then I will stop feeding them sugar water because I don't want any sugar water in my honey. I'll pull honey in June. So this video is just kind of showing what works for me and maybe it'll help you.